this video, we are going to learn how to solve the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube using the beginner's method, which is the, basically the starter's method. So, the first thing that you want to do is you want to find the white edges. But first, let's talk about the what pieces are which. So, these pieces, on like the corners, are called corner pieces. The piece in the middle on each side, they're called the center pieces. And the pieces which are here are called edge pieces. So, what do you want to do first? You want to make the white on um, center face you, and find all the white edges. Like, I can find two white edges here, and then another white edge here, and another white edge over here. So what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to make them all go around, make the, replace the edges that are already around the white with white edges. You're going to find all the edges, the last one over here, and then make them like this. How you do this, and there's some several different cases how this can happen. So we're going to go through one of the, some of the harder ones and some of the easier ones. So like basic ones, are like if it's like right on top, right on the side, stuff like that, you can just slide it down into place like this. The top, if it's on the top, you can slide it down. You can basically do that with any side as long as it's right in place like there you can slide it in like that so some harder ones like okay let's see this edge you can't just slide it in because it's not in the correct position to slide in so what you want to do is you're going to turn the top one in u prime left or right and then turn it down to slide into place we'll find the other one the rest of them do the same thing. So like if it's like this, like it's if it's parallel to this um, blue one, that I don't parallel to a blue one or any other one that's already in, you're gonna keep a um, white on your left side, move it up, R, U, now it's on the top. Okay, now you're gonna do like M prime, I think, or M. And then, so now once you do that, it's right there right now. So you're going to move the middle piece off like this. So now it just goes to the other side. And now you can slide it into place again. And you're going to find the last one. Do the same thing for that one. And now for this one, since if you do it like, if you just slide it in, it's going to kick out this blue one over here. So you don't want that to happen. So what you're going to do is turn it around twice. F or F prime twice and move it up twice with the left side. Okay, now you have the white cross, then that's the first step of the three by three on Rubik's Cube beginner's method. Actually, the full beginner's method actually starts with the daisy like this. First get this, and then do that series. But the easier way I do it, an easier way I do it is I just find, so let's look at, going on. So first, let's look at a fully solved Rubik's Cube over here. So you can see, if we keep white on our left side, you can see that there's blue, orange, green, and red. So we're going to follow that pattern to make sure that we can get it solved like this one. So we're going to, so what we have to do is keep white on our left side, like this, and as you can see, on this side, right here, we're going to want to get blue, because that's the side that this is like. So we're going to find the edge, so if this one is white, orange, this one is white red and you find white blue and stick it onto the left side like right there find the white blue edge right here it's on the bottom right underneath so let's just do this move slide the bottom one like that and slide it up twice into place like this so now we have the white and blue edges in place We've got the white blue edge in place. Next, the orange will go on top. So we find the orange edge, that red edge. We find the orange edge and slide it in on top. So how you do this is, in case it's like that again, you can 
go make it go up again completely like that and then slide into place with the um U prime. So now um blue orange just like this one. Blue orange next on the on this side, the other side, we're gonna have green and um, white green. So anyways, so what you also wanna see is blue will all blue is opposite to green, orange is opposite to red. So if you just can see orange here, you don't really need to do any of that um, looking at this anymore, but you can just um, take the, since um, this is white orange, you find um, white red to go on the exact opposite side because orange is opposite to red. There, right there, it was right underneath. Okay, perfect. So now red is parallel to orange, and now we just need to find blue is parallel to white green, so we just need to find white green which is on the top, again, slide it twice, and then turn it into place, like this. Now you have the cross, which is one of the first steps of the beginner's method. So next, you turn the cross on the bottom. The most popular way people do this is with blue on the front and then red right next to you. So the reason we want this to be like this, red, orange, and then this specific pattern, is so that we can slide it into slide the edge pieces into place with the center pieces without doing too much action like making go back up and stuff which you can probably see in some other videos so what you want to do now is after you do this proper if you, you if it went correctly you should be able to find the you, you can just put blue center in the front look at the edge that's directly underneath it and then slide that edge to the center piece that's which matches this one. So this is red and the red is right there. So you just slide it in. And if you did it correctly, all of these should be slided into place correctly. If not, um, go back like a minute or two and you'll see how you do it. So then you should get it right this time. Okay, now then for the next step. So we got this step down. We've got the centers matched with their edges. The cross is done. So next, what we want to do is connect, we want to make, solve the white and make sure that the corner pieces are all connected with the correct colors. Not sure if you understood that, but how you do this is, so now, if we're just looking at this side, let's say, blue, and then on the right side is red, okay? So next, you find, you find the white corner piece, which is the same which matches those two colors. So this white corner piece is connected to red and green. Red is correct, but this is blue, not green. So we just need to find another one. Here's white, orange, green. Here's white, blue, orange. And here's white, blue, red. And that's exactly what we need. Okay, so now what we want to do is slide it so that it's right in, the, in between them. It doesn't have to be right in between them, like right here. And then, what to do is do this algorithm, like watch closely. Up, sideways, down, sideways. You don't really have to do sideways, but that's just there to like, in case it's in a worse position. So now you can see these two are connected. This piece doesn't, it doesn't really matter because it's actually blue-red. So we'll talk about how to fix that in like a few seconds in case it becomes like this. So next, um, red, green, um, we'll find the red, green one right here. So now you have to do continuously, but this time you also have to do this. You have to do it multiple times. But now you can slid into place, but it's not the correct one. This one is orange, blue instead of red, green. So now that it's right up, it's still in the middle, you just have to continue doing that same algorithm. Perfect. We got this one and this one. This side is done. Next, let's move on to the next one. Um, green orange. And the green orange, lucky for us, is right there. So we just had to do the same algorithm again. You can start doing it quicker. Okay, now it's in place again. Next, do the same to the other side. Oh, wait. Okay, perfect. So now you might have 
So now, as you notice, you can probably notice that you've got all of these. So this is another step of the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. Next step is you can probably take it to the um, blue and red on the left side. So next, you want to find either an egg piece that's blue or red that'll fit right on top of there. So there's a red piece, but that's red-green. Here's a orange, but also you don't want anything connected to yellow at this step. So like if you find, so if you want to do this, you don't want to do um, this algorithm for this step because it's yellow. So we find the red. So here's a pretty cool um, thing I figured out. So you find any piece of that that will fit right in there. So you either find the blue or the red piece. Okay, here's the red, blue, red, blue. That's what you want to look for, either blue, red, or red, blue. We found red, blue. So what you want to do is here. So because red is on the right side, and if it was, if it was switched, so if it's like this, and then this piece has to go right there, which it does, you have to do this algorithm. Watch it. Now, as you notice, these, the piece is now um, inserted into this area, which is what we want. Next, we'll move on to this side. Find a red, green. Okay, perfect, right here. But now, this algorithm will be different. If, it's, if the piece is in front, so let's say it was just um, blue, red instead of red, blue, we would do this algorithm. This algorithm I'm about to show you. It's basically the same except the exact opposite. Yeah, so now we've got this, this, and this. So those are the two algorithms I just showed you. So I'll, show, I'll do it again in case if you need it. Or maybe not because the next one we're about to do. Okay, this is, this is a harder one. So say it is like this. The orange is, they're there, but they're not actually, they can't actually just switch like that. So this algorithm is, so watch it. Wait one second. Sorry guys, right, that actually isn't supposed to happen. In case that happens, you can just switch it out again and then do that same algorithm for a different piece like this one, if that happens. Instead, so now it'll switch out again, so it'll come out. Just you gotta do that same algorithm in case if that happens, so this will come out like that. So now you can do this algorithm. The same algorithm we did just the same way. Okay, next for the last piece, this one. So now it's again, um, since it's in the front again, we have to do that same algorithm. Go backwards a few minutes in case if you want to see how you did the last one again because it's only done once. But we've solved the second layer. Second layer of the Rubik's Cube is how we want to do it. Okay. So for this next part, there's actually seven cases for this. There's actually like seven cases. The next part, we have to solve the yellow side. So there's actually seven cases for this, so this will actually take a bit longer. But there's two basic algorithms that are used in this one. So I'll show you on this cube. There's two basic algorithms that are used in this one. So the first basic algorithm that's used is this one. You might want to either write this down or memorize it. The memorizing is not easy, so you can write it down. Up. No. This way, up, sideways, sideways, down, sideways, up, sideways, down. That's one of the basic algorithms. The next basic algorithm, you, if you didn't get that down, you should probably get that down. Next basic algorithm is down, One second, guys, I think I messed up. Because the next basic algorithm is which will solve the yellow color. So if you didn't get that down, okay. And if you didn't get the first basic algorithm down, okay. Hopefully you got that down. If not, um, rewind the video.
So there's seven cases, but they all um, follow around those two algorithms I just showed you. So for this specific case, since the piece, if the piece is on this side, closer to the um, end of the piece that you can see in your um, vision, you do the second algorithm I showed you. Okay, this is all yellow. But that's just one of the cases. So now one of the cases is like seven. I need to keep track of that. So one of them are done. Okay, so the next thing, so these two are just the basic algorithms. So the next thing is this algorithm. The first one I showed you. Okay, solved yellow again. So those two were the ones. Hang on, I'll go back in case if you didn't see me. So I, I actually didn't show what you need to do for that case. So if the, this piece is filled up, but this piece is on this side, is like it just needs to be switched out. That one you have to do that algorithm. The first algorithm, we'll just call the algorithm one algorithm two. Algorithm one is the one, this one. And algorithm two is this one. Okay, so this is just another case. So, this is a case, there's actually two to like this, but this is just one of them. So what you have to do for this one is algorithm one. No, no. And then you have to actually turn it twice to get to this that I just showed you, like a few minutes ago. And then you do. That's it. I'll go down to. It's all yellow. Okay. So, let's try. Okay. Four more to go. Three done. Four more to go. No. That's a few of the other ones. Okay. This is a perfect example. Okay. So, this is another one of the cases where there's just a yellow cross on top. Two of them right here and then one on the corner on the other side. So what you do for this one is algorithm two and then algorithm move it um, right one time so that's to one of the algorithms again, corner side, and then algorithm two again. Perfect. Three to go. <laughs> the last three might be a bit harder to get to. Is a bit more rare. We just did that one. Yeah. No, we did this one too. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Stop coming back to the same ones. Perfect. This is one that we haven't done yet. Okay, so this one, as you can notice, it's not like this. The two pieces aren't here. They're on this side, either side. They're on this side and this side. So, what you want to do for that one is to move it one that way so that. That edge is facing the red, and then do algorithm one. And then you do algorithm two to solve yellow again. But also, in some cases, you might have to move it. So, yellow, two more to go, I think. I think I know the two that we have to still have to do, and I think I just. The Rubik's Cube on X. Okay, guys, here's another case where there's the cross again, but this time there's two on this side, but there's not one on this side. Instead, there's another two on the other side. So for this one, you're going to do algorithm one. No, not algorithm one, but algorithm two, I meant. And then you have to do another algorithm, but I actually was trying to get to another case on um, this case. In this case is another case that you're going to encounter while just trying to solve the Rubik's Cube. So for this one, you're going to do algorithm 1 to get to this case. And so, but for this case, you want to keep on switching. But in this case, you have to do algorithm 2 and then algorithm 2 again. You can usually figure out after you do the first one which one is going to come, but yeah. Get back to that last case a second ago. Perfect. Okay. So this is another case, guys. 
that you're going to see on your way to the Rufus Cube. And this is the last case we're going to review. Because this is the last case in the beginner's method that you're going to see. So anyways, algorithm 2. And then algorithm 1. Because it's right here. Right, now yellow is solved for the last step, solving the Rubik's Cube. So, right now, as you can see, so what we want to do now, you want all the corners to be the same. Like, we want it to be blue, blue, not blue, green, um, red, red, orange, orange is already right there. So what we want to do is to see if there's any already two soft corners and take it to the blue side and then do this algorithm and watch Okay, so now, lucky for us, all the corners are the same, except for this one's solved. Okay, so now there's kind of a series of algorithms that you can follow to solve the Rubik's Cube. There's only two, actually. So there's several different cases. So for this one, what you can do is so if there's like something that's not possible, case that you can see you want to take it to one of the unsolved edges, like this side, and then do this algorithm. Okay, so that took us to this side. That took us to this stage. From this stage, we're gonna turn it to this. This is actually a case that we can review, and then we're gonna do that same algorithm again, watch. Next, turn it right and do this algorithm again. Okay, the Rubik's Cube is solved, but there's a few more cases we're going to see before we do this. Okay, this is a case I'm going to show you right now. This is the only case that does not require you to do that same algorithm. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to do up, up, watch her. You want to watch this, actually? Wait, wait, wait. First, I'm going to review in the last one that requires... Um, to do that same algorithm. Actually, the last two, then we'll do that one. Okay, this one also, this one, where there's red and orange, it requires you to do that same algorithm, and it'll directly take you to the solved stage. And one last one. And actually, this last algorithm, which I'm going to show you, which actually from the CFOP, but in my opinion, I just use it for the games method. So if all the edges are switched, it's because if green is in... This green area and blue is not supposed to be there, and then like red, orange, those are all opposite. So for that, uh, for this case, you're going to do the middle piece up. And to the solved stage. Okay, now we'll review that case I was just showing you a second ago. Okay, so now watch this. Wait, hang on, I'm trying to think, was there one last? No, there wasn't. Wait, guys, one second. Okay, guys, back to that case. So, let's do this and watch this. Okay, wait, that was just... Okay, guys, sorry about the last few parts, but we are actually done with this tutorial on how to solve 3x3 three three Rubik's Cubes. So now, for the last part, we're just going to talk about, like, some stuff about Rubik's Cubing, some finger tricks that you can do to make yourself go faster. Like, some things that you can do in case of... And other than going like this, it's just, like, more, like, quickly like that with your back finger, like, if you can see, back like there. And then same for this um, ring finger, like that. And then if you're doing like, you use the ring finger again to move like that to do that last algorithm that I showed you. So for speed cubing, if you're ever gonna do speed cubing, you should, um, like one of the best Ruby cube companies are GAN, and this is the GAN 356 magnetic cube, but this is the uh, Mofang G brand.
even it's a good starter cube. This is like a more of a speed cubing cube. In case if you want to go for faster, this one costs thirty dollars on Amazon. Then there's the Can Pro, which costs sixty five. So again, and more you are like the best and really cheap companies out there. But as you see, this actually has magnets. Those are magnets, which stop it from like going overboard in case like this one doesn't have magnets. So to stop from getting too jammy. Okay, so. If you enjoyed this video, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. In my channel, we do play, play Minecraft, and now we'll, I'm going to start doing Rubik's Cube videos, tutorials, speed cubing challenges, stuff like that. Subscribe to my channel if you like it, and see you next time. Bye.